Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited had recently received a prestigious order for the supply of compact heat exchanger sets for 83 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The Aeronautical Development Agency has now released a tender to carry out thermal performance and combined PTF cycle tests on the new pre-cooler Mark II developed for Tejas Mark II program. The Aeronautical Development Agency and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited had taken up the development of pre-cooler Mark II heat exchanger for high temperature at 614 degrees Celsius, and has also manufactured two qualification test units, that will now undergo qualification tests that includes thermal performance test and pressure drop test. The pre-cooler heat exchanger performs the function of pre-cooling the hot and high-pressure bleed air taken from the engine cores, by using cold ram air drawn from the surrounding of the aircraft. Bharat Heavy Electricals is also working with the DRDO for the development of air cycle machine-based liquid cooling system for aircraft pod application for Tejas Mark II program. At a time when Airbus is keen to secure modification contract for 6X Air India Airbus A321 aircraft to be used for the Netra Mark II program, Boeing has offered its 737 next-generation aircraft to India for defence applications, and if India agrees to the latest offer, then the Indian Navy's indigenous multi-mission maritime aircraft and Air Force's Netra Mark II airborne early warning and control aircraft based on Boeing's 737 next-generation aircraft could become a reality. After Airbus won a contract for 56 C-295 aircraft from the Indian Air Force, Boeing is also looking to secure further orders from the Indian market, and the intense rivalry between Boeing and Airbus has erupted, as Hindustan Aeronautics and Israel Aerospace Industries have recently signed contracts to convert civilian Boeing 767 aircraft into refueling aircraft for the Indian Air Force. U.S. firm General Atomics has unveiled a new MQ-9B variant at the International Maritime Exhibition in Australia, that features new foldable wings design optimized for short takeoff and landing, and can operate from flat-top landing platform dock and aircraft carriers without the need for a ski jump or catapult system. The Indian Navy is looking to procure four landing platform docks, and this new variant would be of great interest to the Indian Navy, as it can carry and dispense snowboys, and will provide long-range high-endurance anti-submarine warfare capabilities, and will also carry AGM-114 Hellfire and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. Military analysts have spotted a new submarine in a Chinese shipyard in a recent satellite image. That could be a new hunter-killer class of nuclear-powered attack submarine with vertical launch tubes for cruise missiles, that is specifically designed for the purpose of sinking other submarines and surface ships. A Chinese shipyard has recently issued an open tender for super high-strength structural steel of the kind used in military hulls, on which naval experts have said that China will soon begin work on a new Type 54B frigate that is more suited for high seas operations to complement its future carrier battle groups. In the presence of officials from the Indian Navy, Boeing has announced its plans to collaborate with Air India Engineering Services Limited for the setting up of maintenance repair and overhaul of critical equipment on key Boeing defense platforms in India, that also includes P-8 anti-submarine aircraft and Boeing 777 VIP aircraft operated by the Indian Air Force. US firm Marshall Aerospace has announced, that the company will deliver dedicated and comprehensive maintenance services to the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force's fleet of 12 C-130J Super Hercules aircraft will undergo its in-depth 12-year maintenance inspections from Marshall Aerospace, under a contract from Lockheed Martin.